Well, that was kind of fun. Ding! <sighs> Suicide Squad is directed and written by David Ayer and stars a lot of people. Jared Leto. Margot Robbie. Will Smith, Viola Davis. Basically the synopsis is Amanda Waller is a government agent who wants to do some good with some bad people. Uh, Viola Davis is Amanda Waller and she wants to take these bad villains to send them onto a suicide mission to take care of any sort of threat that comes their way and the government is basically washes their hands clean they don't know anything about it it's on the suicide squad my biggest question going into this movie was how is Jared Leto gonna be as the Joker throughout all the trailers and everything that's the thing that I was most excited about was to see how he was as the Joker I never grew up reading the DC comics if I read anything it was spider-man so I wasn't a huge comic fan but the character of the Joker is such a great character and it takes an actor to a place they've never been before to a just super dark mysterious place and I love seeing actors do that you know it's been said a million times Heath Ledger's, Ledger's Joker is I mean it's downright amazing one of the best performances just taking yourself away from being a person and putting yourself into a character that's a fantastic representation of that and I love seeing that, so I was very curious to see how this Joker was. <sighs> all in all, he's not in it enough. I have to say, I'm a huge Jared Leto fan, like, music-wise, acting-wise, I absolutely adore him. And I have really high hopes for him as the Joker. I will always love uh, Heath Ledger and his Joker, but I had high hopes for Jared Leto. But he just wasn't in it enough, the parts that he was in, I the parts that he was it. in, I was not too impressed with. He seemed, I don't know, over the top. It was, I wasn't too keen on it. But that's the problem with him not being in it so much. Like, I can feel that there's definitely something there with there's his growth. own. Yeah. And it has to be, there has to be more of it to really see if he's going to be good at it. Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, she was very good. A plus. Will Smith. Not too big a fan on him, but he was very good as Deadshot. Everybody else just kind of felt very supplementary, but at the same time, they did a good enough job at giving everybody enough time to just kind of do their thing, I guess. The beginning was excellent, it showed the characters. Yeah. The first 30 minutes of the movie, I thoroughly enjoyed. Very entertaining, it's very quick. Uh, the way it was edited was very interesting. There were some parts that were all over the place as far as the editing were, but when it gets down to it, it was what I was hoping for in this movie, was just in that 30 minutes. But when it gets to the third act, it becomes a completely different thing. It flips on its head. It's very basic. It turns into just like your regular kind of superhero movie. There were some cameos throughout the movie that I thought were interesting. This movie is most definitely build up. Of everything else. As far as the Justice League goes. There's a lot of talk about the plot and how it was really thin. Honestly, I didn't mind the plot. I thought it was pretty decent. I thought it had its way of going. There's a lot of like this way and that way and this way and that way, but it still stayed on the point like this is what's happening. We need to do this. But on the way there, here's this, here's that. Don't forget this. But I really didn't mind the plot. I thought it was pretty decent. Well, and I think that's my issue is there there's definitely some sort of vendetta grudge against DC probably from Marvel fanboys because this movie is definitely not as bad as they're mm -mm. saying it is. Honestly, I went into this movie having really high hopes. Didn't get everything I wished for. <coughs> Jared Leto. <coughs> but it was still really good. I really enjoyed it. You got enough of an introduction to all the characters, at least the ones you really care about. That anything else they're in is going to be set. Yeah, so you, you know what's coming for the other ones, which is fine. I do want to make a point real quick that I do not hate superhero <laughs> movies. This is mostly to you. I do not hate superhero movies. I don't like bad movies. And a lot of superhero movies are bad movies. With this one, I, you know, I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. There was a lot to like about it, and there was a lot that they could have made better. But with, you know, it's not as, don't believe the hype of how bad it is. It's really not that bad. It has quirky parts that you're like, that fits. It's, it's one of the more polarizing and divided films in a long time. And it's one that you can't believe the hype either way. You have to watch it for yourself if you're interested enough. I thought that it was very dark, which was good. It's, it's not, not as dark as it's, Batman vs. No, and it's not as safe. Oh, I mean, really, acting all around is great. I, I had fun, and that's... That's, that's all that's, I asked for. That's good. 
Uh, oh uh, the villain was, you know, pretty bland, I guess you could say. I didn't really care. Like I said, it's it's definitely more of a setup than anything. There are interesting parts about the villain, though, that's for sure. Like, some of the setup for what happened, but then after that, it was kind of like, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little interested to see where the Justice League goes. I love Ben Affleck, and he's seems like he's starting to take over the whole process, and he's done well as a director. So hopefully it goes in a better direction. Each movie, I started with Man of Steel, which I wasn't big on. Batman vs Superman was better, and this was better. So it just keeps going up, and that's what I hope, is that they keep getting better. Like I said, I like good movies. I don't care if it's a superhero movie. I don't care what it involves. If it's a good movie, I enjoy it. So if they keep getting better, I'll, I'll watch. Let us know down below if you've seen Suicide Squad or if you want to see Suicide Squad. Um, Always curious what you guys have to say. The Criterion Contest as of right now is still going on, so make sure you go over there uh, and get involved. Four Criterions for four people. Very easy. Enter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.